will be explaining how to merge several SSES tabular models into one. Okay, so the case study here is, um, there was a question around, I, for instance, I've been working on a Power BI file that's linked to an SSCS tabular model. And then we have more people coming into the team and having to extend that tabular model within their own solution and then finding a place where we can merge all that work, that piece of work across several developers into one model um, to then be reused in a Power BI file. Um, so for in this situation now, we have uh, this Power BI file and it is linked to an SSCS database, tabular one, sit there, and that's it there. So these are all the dimensions of facts. So we're using adventure works for the scenario now. And we have another developer that's added fact survey response. So fact survey response is not in here, but he's done a bit of work on that within his own um, solution. So how do we merge that? So the tool to use, I found out to dig it around at the internet. Um, and this is taken into cognizance that we don't have TFS to play with, we don't have Azure DevOps, uh, we need um, an open source tool. So BISM normalizer um, is a good one. So if we go to this link, I will put this link below for us to access. So if we go to this link, you can download this file and it's free. And once it's downloaded, it takes less than a minute to install. You should then get this message to say it's been successfully installed. And it will ask you which of the Visual Studio files you want to add the tool to as an extension. So I have checked the three of these ones, and that's why it's all checked to say, yes, it's been added to these Visual Studio files. Um, so let's open Visual Studio. Okay, so that's taking its time. Great. So this is how you know that BISM normalizer has been installed successfully. If you go to tools in your Visual Studio, you should see this many there, new tabular model comparison. Um, so if you clicked on that one, you should then see this view. And if you clicked on compare, you should then see the source to the target. So in this, I am comparing two files. Um, it's really good because you could actually compare and merge across projects. You can merge from one database to another database. Um, so that's good. But in this instance, it's a BIM file to another BIM file. Um, so I will be connecting to so these are the two solutions i have uh, but i will just be grabbing the bim file and this is the one with the survey response so that's my source just going to the bim file and then to the target the one that doesn't have the fact survey response which is in the database i'll just show you earlier um, so that's the other one and there you go and then you select that one as well so from source to target we say okay great so you should then have all the objects within each of the model um, just listed side by side um, one thing you should ignore really is the data source because they'll probably be different i mean in this case it's the same but you would just say skip 
right? So skip that one. And the we can see that the changes where we have where it's spotted change is the facts of a response, like I said, and then the relationship. So I do want this to be added to the target. So to do that, um, just say create all objects missing in targets and say validate selection. Um, no warnings, that's good. And we see that that's our, so it's going to, okay, that's skipped. Um, so that's going to create a new table with these three relationships. Um, so if you're happy with that, um, just select update and say yes, and say yes. Great, so now we see that it's created that table within our targets. All right, brilliant. So how do we really confirm this? So that's now there. Maybe we could save this. We do it in our BIM file. Um, yeah, save it. We know it's there. So now we can open and publish to the server and refresh the model, and that should all come through. Um, so we'll close this in a minute. And then let's now go to this one. So that's our D model. That's the target that we've just um, extended with the BI SM normalizer. So let's take it this time. <clears throat> Okay, and one thing you should note is um, it moves across the metadata and not the actual data. So you will need to process your tables within the solution to have the data um, flow through. But as far as the um, yeah the metadata is concerned, that's 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 been merged. Um, okay, so we'll we'll see that. Now, where we see that if we go to the tables, we see facts of a response, but we actually don't see the data. That's because, like I said, it brings you the metadata, but not the actual data. If you want the actual data, um, just um, let's process it. Um, good process table. Uh, and trade the details into the database. Okay. So that's processing that table. And that should have all this field with data in a minute. Great, so that's the data there, great. And so now we want to publish this back to our uh, database because we, we see there's no facts of a response here because that needs to come through to the Power BI file. Um, so we publish this, or we deploy rather. Uh, you could go to deploy so that's already the path has already been set to the local host so that's why that's going through um, let's just check So yeah, so that's local. Oh, this is terminal. Great. 
succeeded. So that's it there. So if we process. Great. So great, we have our facts coming through now. And if we then refresh our Power BI file, we have that coming through now. Brilliant. I'm not sure if we've sorted out the relationship there, but let's see. Yeah, that's the custom key. So it's very distinct to that. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, um, that's how to merge your file several SSS tab like you could try it with the project with the solution or merge it across databases um yeah leave your comments there if this has been helpful thank you